try to get my mom on the on a small little candid interview and we won't tell her we're gonna do it but I want to talk to her about what do you do with people who are on this lifestyle what do you do with them I mean how do you deal with them how do you I mean you know I hear well Tanya what can you eat what can you let's talk to her about that because she deals with me and and she puts up with me and she loves me anyway even though She's not like me, though so we're very the same. You'll see that. I'm a tall version of her. She's five feet tall, and I'm 5'11". <laughs> but um, I want to tell you this first. Number one, about the calorie thing. The point of you getting enough calories is as follows. Get enough calories because you have metabolic damage. You don't want this because you want your body to be functioning as a heat furnace, burning the calories. And as long as you starve it, it's not going to do that. It's going to um, be on a, on a cooling form. It's, it's holding your calories. It's not giving you the energy you need. It's not giving you the, the vibrance you need in your life. Um, weight loss results will come. Vibrancy will come quicker than, than probably weight loss. And you're going to feel like doing stuff. You're going to feel like living your life. Quit being so hung up on the dang weight loss because it's going to come. But it won't as long as you keep starving yourself. It won't as long as you keep being wish-washy back and forth about this lifestyle. I mean, I had a lot of fruit yesterday. I went to bed and my belly was full. And Sometimes on these videos, the way this camera sits, it looks like I have a pot belly, but I don't. My hip bones stick out and my guts suck in. And the reason why is because I move my body. I... I eat the calories I need. I give my body the nourishment it needs. I mean, I'm going to back up so you can see what your belly could look like in the morning, what, what it could feel like when you wake up and you don't, you're not even aware of your digestive tract. You can't really see the way this video, the, the way the phone sits right here, but um, I show you that because I want I want this for you. I want this for people. I see comments and it's so hard for me to reach out to everyone um, from just my one little cube in the world here. But I, I'm trying. Um, you know, I want to tell you this too. You know, meals are interchangeable. Like, I used to be really on this regimen of... Um, I can't decide what I want to listen to this morning on my music. Um, I used to be like, okay, I would have this list on the refrigerator. Breakfast equals juice. And I would have whatever juice I was wanting to concoct. Lunch equals juice and whatever I wanted to concoct. Snack equals this. Dinner equals this. Period. That was the cube I lived in. I could not stray. My brain would not hear other people's information because I was afraid. I was afraid that I would not be able to stay on track. I, I would slip off. But, you know, meals are interchangeable. And, like, then after a while I was, you know, okay, for breakfast I could then digest fruit. And I would be fruit for breakfast. And I would be fruit and greens, fruit and celery. Dinner would be my, my fat I added and then my salad. I don't live like that anymore. I live intuitively with my body. You know, if you wake up and you feel like you want to have... A creamy dip for breakfast with your celery have it you know have your fruit later you know when you're eating whole plant foods you're going to get the ratios you need um, so I want to show you what I'm making this morning my little girl's gonna come by here later and I'm gonna serve her this okay so what we have is 
she likes almonds. This is about a half a cup of soaked almonds overnight. They were as raw as you can get. Um, you know, all, all almonds now and nuts are dried in a way through this tunnel process that they're not completely raw. So if that's a, an issue to you, don't use them. Um, so that's what I have. Half a cup of soaked almonds. Then I have these little peppers that were these little small ones. That's a half of it. I have two red ones. I have um, an orange and a yellow. I have one tablespoon of minced garlic. I have a tablespoon of garlic and herb Mrs. Dash. I have two tablespoons of lemon juice. I'm going to see how this... I'm going to put in a little bit of water. Let's just say a fourth of a cup. Let's see how this blends, okay? And then I'm going to address some issues about love that we were talking about yesterday. Don't worry, I'm um, Cardi, I'm not going to talk about sex again. Your mama's going to keep it on the down low. <laughs> cheese. Look at it! I love how you can just concoct something and then bam, it's like that tastes like mock pimento cheese. I'm going to serve it to her over some um, spinach and what is this, cauliflower? Oh yes. This is a winner. Try it. That about fourth a cup of water gave it just the right consistency too and I only barely pulsed it so I'm going to crank it for just a couple seconds. This is funny. Yesterday morning when I was making my mango magic um, water, I thought, well, I just had my water and mango in there, you know, and I was just gonna flip it on a minute, and I thought that my Vitamix, I looked to see what variable speed it was on. It was on one. I thought, okay, good. But I didn't check to see if it was on variable speed or high, and when I flipped it on, because I wasn't even gonna put the top on, because I was just gonna barely blend it. I kid you not, it, it was like it exploded in this kitchen. Which brings me to my point. You know, I used to have OCD so bad, that would have caused me, this was like right before I was fixing to get my little boy up. Um, and I was like out of time for the hoo-ha I do before that. And um, used to, I would have, honest to God, had to not go to work. But yesterday, here's what I did. I took a couple of towels. And I really just kind of threw it on the mess and scooted it over and got it later. This is freeing. You know what? I don't have to be locked into some regimen. I don't have to do it the certain way. I can just be free. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I'm moving to this new house. And, and my house now, they're both brick ranches. They're nothing special, okay? I, I just live like a normal person, really less than like a normal person. But this house I live in now, my husband and I put a pole in the backyard years ago and you know, all the all the window frames are painted just right. All the baseboards are painted just right. Just right for my eyes. Well, my new place, not so much. My new place, all the baseboards need painting. All the, it, it is going to be a nice cozy home, but my point is this. I'm going to get my dang boxes in over there, and I'm going to sit down because I can. I'm going to live my life. You know, I, I watch some people. I'll tell you what I've noticed about, um, Freely and Harley when I'm looking at their video and I'm looking at their surroundings and you know what they don't give a, a dang They just live their life and You know, there's some other people like that too or like um, Just some people I know and you know what they're living their life that they're getting by and they're they're happy and they're free And I'm not gonna lock myself into that. It's gonna be my chance to transform myself when I move out of this house And I step out of here. I'm never going back to that I'm never going back to that lock-in. My, my Jeep is so nasty now. Um, I had some juice the other day, and I was had my son hold it, and I turned a corner, and 
he let it slosh everywhere. It's all over the seat. Now it's still there. It's been there for two weeks. Yes, you can guess what? Nobody's dead. It's not killing anybody. I mean, it'll come out later, but I don't know. Every window frame doesn't have to be clean. Every, I don't know. Because I want to have every dance on the kitchen floor that I missed before, you know. Um, which brings me to, look, I'm on the ball this morning. I got dressing and I've got um, useless information to people, but it's, it's important information for me. And, you know, can, can you unplug from the noise of your life? Can you unplug from the noise in your head? I can. You know, sometimes I, I even try to take a shower and I have so many people wanting me and needing me and they'll say, people's favorite comment is, where's Tanny? Where's Tanny? Tanny was going to take a shower, okay? <laughs> and, you know, sometimes I just turn off the dang phone. I mean, people can wait and, you know, take time to do what, what is important to you and what you want to do. And so you can feel mentally clear and you can get your mind in order so you can live the lifestyle you want to live so you can get the results you want to get um you know i feel different in the world now i feel like i'm in the world and not of the world you know I, i'm just um i'm just a being having an earthling experience right now and you know it'll come and go and my soul will still exist and I'm not going to waste my time here on petty things anymore. I'm just not. Um, you know, which brings me to talk about this. Yesterday we were talking about sex on a raw food diet. Hey. And, you know, I could talk some more about that. And um, we, could, we could talk about the fun of it, you know. Bang a gong. Get it on. <laughs> but instead, I'm going to talk about um, the love factor of it. Here's the thing. Do you have a companion that is like you and that person can look into each other's eyes and it feels like all the noise stops? Do you have a companion that you you look into their eyes and it feels like you and them against the world? That's what I want. That's what I want to be this time, you know. Um, but you know what? Until then, I look in the mirror and my eyes look back at me. And I'm complete, just like I am. You know, that's the kind of person you want to partner with that's complete in their self, that when y'all partner together, it is a dynamic duo. It is the Wonder Twins, you know. I used to have a good friend, and he and I even had these Wonder Twin rings. And this is when I was married, um, and uh, he's married. And we were good friends. And he was on, got on this lifestyle, and he lost over 100 pounds. And eventually we had to stop being friends because he and I were living on such a, you know, like I live now, but such a different frequency that it was a danger. It was a danger to his marriage. And he saw that and I saw it. And, you know, so we just kind of ceased to exist as friends. But, um, you know, it's a real unique thing when you can find that with somebody. And, um... You know, is your companion a person who feeds your soul? You know, I said yesterday, I, I obviously want a raw vegan man in my life because that's a big part of my life. And and people that aren't on this lifestyle, they don't want to think about it. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to be about it. And that's what I am about. Um, it's not all that encompasses me, but it's a large percentage of what makes me who I am. And... Um, you can connect with people on another, you know, other things. And if you have that and, and you're you're having that vibrancy together on, on different things on a different level, you can still have that and not not eat the same. You know, somebody said in a comment on the YouTube, well, you know, I've been with my, my boyfriend for three years. You know, we really love each other. He's not on this lifestyle, and <clears throat> but he supports me. That's the key. He supports me in it. He doesn't try to question you, you know, um, maybe, maybe y'all are, I don't know, hikers together and you connect on that. Maybe you're road cyclists together. Maybe you have a physical thing. You know, it can be a lot of different things, but do you connect on a certain level with that person? Um, so I don't want anybody to think I'm saying, you know, well, 
if you don't have a person that eats like this, then chunk them. I, I'm not saying that. Um, but, you know, I'm at a, a new starting point in my life, and I can choose again, and Tane is choosing. <laughs> so, um, here's an, 